Hey guys, Cody here and welcome to part two of the footprint tutorial. Okay, so now that we've got the basic footprints uh, set up here, we can start implementing different surface types to have them interact and do different things. Okay, so first thing we need to do is uh, create some basic materials. So let's go ahead and do a little uh, housekeeping. We'll make a new folder. We'll call this footprints and we'll go ahead and throw our footprint material in there and we'll make another folder called surfaces and another one called textures okay so in the textures folder let's go ahead and make a new material and we'll call this one snow and we'll jump in here and we'll make a uh, vector and to make a vector you just hold down three and then left click throw this into the base color and it's snow so we'll make it white apply Okay, now I'm just going to duplicate this two times like so and we'll call this grass and we will call this one wood. Okay, and then I'm just going to go in here and change these colors so we can see what we're working with. Okay, so now that we have those uh, material types, we can throw a cube into the level. And I'm just going to make it uh, 10 by 10. Control C, Control V, and simply throw these textures on. Okay, so now we need to go to our surfaces folder and uh, set up these physical uh, material types. So we'll call this one grass, just right clicking, going to physics, physical material, we call this snow, and one more time, and we will call this one wood. Okay, so once I've added these three, I'm going to head up to the settings, project settings, go to physics, scroll down a little bit, and then you're going to see the surface type list. Now this is kind of hidden to any new users and this can kind of trip people up. Um, but all you have to do is set this up once and then you're done. So let's add snow, grass, and wood. Okay, and we'll just save to make sure that that gets saved and exit out of there. Okay, now all I have to do is go into each physical material and on this physical property where it says surface type I can just now choose one of these three from the list that I just created and this one is grass so we'll choose grass save and snow and finally wood Okay, so now we have to apply these physical materials uh, to our uh, normal materials here. Under textures, we'll go first to grass. And up here, uh, up in the left details panel, you'll see physical material. And we can simply choose grass from there that we created. Apply, save, and do this for snow as well. and wood. Okay, so let's uh, set this up. Uh, first thing we need to do is head over into our third person uh, blueprint and we can 
clean this up a little bit. I'm just going to select this, hit C to make a comment, and we're going to call this uh, Footprint Engine. Okay. And we need to uh, create some new custom events. So, whoop. Custom events. And we'll call this Foot on Snow. Custom event. Foot on Grass. And foot on wood. All right, and I'm just going to make a print string for each of these just for testing purposes. Snow. Grass. And wood. Whoops. Okay. Okay, so next we're going to go over into our footprint engine and click on this footprints function that we made earlier. Uh, of course, this makes the line trace every time we step and it breaks the hit results here. And you'll notice this uh, reference, which is physical material. That's what we want. We're going to pull off that and type in surface type. Then we're going to promote this to a variable. And we'll just call this simply material. Okay. So each time it steps, it's going to run a trace down. It's going to check what kind of physical material type it is. And then it's going to set this variable, which is material, to that. Okay. So once this is set, we can drag off here. And we're going to make a sequence. And we'll add an extra pin. And then we're going to take this property and we're going to say equal to by just putting the equal sign and we're going to go choose enum and on the enum drop down we have a list of all our material types so we'll choose snow copy v i guess we gotta pull off each time equal to enum grass equal to enum wood Oops. okay and then next we're going to be pulling off a branch or creating a branch off of each sequence which will be determined by if this material type is true to our selection. So if it's true to wood, it's going to turn this condition on and allow access through this flow. So pretty straightforward stuff here. Okay, so now what happens if it's true? Uh, we want to get that function that we made earlier in the event graph. So foot on snow, foot on grass, foot on wood. Let's do that. Foot on snow. Foot on grass. And foot on wood. Okay, so each time we step, it's going to run a line trace. It's going to check the physical material. It's going to run it through this surface type and update this variable. And then this variable is going to be checked against these three variable types. And if it's true, it's going to run through here and activate this custom event, which we created in the event graph here, which is connected to a print string, which says what kind of material type it is. Let's compile, save, and give it a test. So we're on wood. And it's reading as wood in the top left. Let's go to the snow. Now it's reading as snow. And grass is reading as grass. All right, so let's hook it up uh, to some sounds now. Uh, first thing we need are some sounds. So let's go to the footprint folder. And I'll import it directly into there. And I'll provide these four sounds uh, under the video in the description. So you can download them there. Uh, we do need to set up these 
the volumes for each of these uh, because I'm not an audio engineer. Uh, so body step should be 1.3 for the volume. Save. I'm just double clicking the imported sounds to modify them. Uh, grass step should be five. Snow step should be 0.5. And wood step should be 0.3. Okay, so let's head over into our third person character and we'll drag off of here and we'll do play sound at location. I'm just going to copy paste this three times. And select the sounds that we just imported. Snow. Grass. And wood. Compile. And let's test it. And looks like it's working. Okay. All right. Let's add a little bit of variety to this sound while we're in here. So I'm just going to expand this drop down. And where it says volume and pitch multiplier, I'm going to drag off of that and do a random float in range. And we'll just make these the same for the volume and the pitch. So this will be a uh, Every time this fires off, it's going to pull a random uh, number in between this range. So we'll say the minimum is, let's say, 0.9, and the maximum is 1. Point, we'll say, 3. And we'll just make it the same for all these. And let's hear the difference. So it adds a little bit of variety with still just one sound effect for each step. Okay, so that will do it for the second part of this tutorial. In the third part, we're going to be getting into some even cooler, more complicated stuff where we're gonna have uh, footprints that track. So we'll set it up where you can walk through mud and track it onto other materials. Um, and I'll also be digging into 3D footprints. So we'll do uh, footprints on a 3D tessellated uh, surface. Uh, so that, uh, look forward to that. Uh, it'll be in the next week or so. And again, guys, my name is Cody. Thanks for hanging out and uh, following along with these tutorials and if you're interested in learning more about me my projects and things like that you can follow me on twitter at nanovoxel and of course you can follow subscribe my youtube and check out my twitch which is twitch.tv slash cody my net i'd really appreciate a follow over there as well thanks guys and i will see you on the third and final tutorial for footsteps